right, next we have our, uh, I really don't know what to call them, but uh, I guess like roll the smoked beans. There you go. Roll the smoked beans, so these are homemade yeah. baked beans? Homemade baked beans. Corn. Anything you can tell us about the ingredients in them? Uh, it's got a little bit of bacon, a little bit of garlic. A little bit of hamburger meat. I told you. It's kind of like a bacon in As house. long as it's got yeah. bacon, yeah. <laughs> oh, almost like a, a chili, huh? Yeah. Kind, kind of like a chili, but it's um, it's not hot. It's good. Oh yeah. This is one of our most popular items. We have we have people that do not eat baked beans, eat these beans. Yes. Thank you. These are really good. wow. But the quieter it gets, the better the food is. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's usually the case. Since Joe is enjoying his first taste of food, I'm gonna talk to him next. One of the big things that stands out for me with Pixels is the work they do with drones. So, Joe, um, I mean, that, that's basically your baby, the whole drone footage behind it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, we, uh, when I joined the team with uh, Cameron and Jake, I had an expertise that I brought along with me of uh, flying FPV drones, which is first-person view drones. And I've seen a bunch of people around the uh, U.S. flying through houses and giving drone tours of businesses and you know, pretty much anything that is more interesting than, you know, staying in still subjects, just people running, hiking. It can be any activity really on, but we'll... Pickleball? Pickleball, yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen it online, but there's the, it's like one of the top trending videos on YouTube where a guy flies through a bowling alley mm -hmm. and then goes down the lane with the bowling ball oh, yeah. and then goes through the pins with the ball. So that was you? No, that was not me, <laughs> but that's what inspired me to uh, want to you know, do FPV drone shots. Now, <clears throat> you've been worldwide recognized as the greatest drone flyer that there ever was. At least friends with. You started your drone career uh, bombing small countries, right? No, I started yeah. it in Las Vegas with a Christmas present. Bombing Las Vegas? No. Bombing Las Vegas? No, I need to know. All right, um, so you started- I got, I got a Christmas present uh, of a DJI Mavic drone, which is kind of a beginner drone where it hovers on its own, kind of flies itself, and that's what got me into you know, looking up uh, videos of other people doing shots like that. And that's when I stumbled across an FPV video and it's been smooth sailing ever since then. And that was about three years ago. He said a Mavic was a, was a rookie movie drone as uh, we still use. Yeah, well, so what's that say about us? I can't fly his drones to save my life. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they the, are- The drones I fly, they, you know- Immersive. I'm, yeah, it's, I mean, it is immersive. You all have your strengths. He can't mic a podcast to save his life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't say the facts about the last podcast, but we'll be all right. <laughs> but yeah, we, we've added the house fly package into our uh, into the arsenal this year, and it's been. I think the numbers are rising on people ordering it, and we hope that that continues. And why did it rise? Because social media. Oh, oh I thought it was because of the, my listings. Uh, well, uh, that too. The, the bookcase no. listing. Right? Yeah. The. Uh, those drone tours, I mean, they were they were a hard sell at first because everybody's afraid of change. You know, everybody's so used to, I'll just spend this and get some photos and throw it up there. And, you know, if it yeah. sells, it sells. And it's hard to convince people that, you know, if you've got a higher end property, that photos might not get it done. No, I, mean, I, I, don't, I think that putting in a uh, fur realtor, having that package and having that video on your listing shows that you, uh, you care about your work and you are putting more into it than most other realtors would. So yeah, for sure. It shines good on everybody. Yeah. And, um, I, I think one of the uh, good things that it does is exposure. There's a, a lot of people relocating from different areas. YouTube is the number two search engine worldwide, second only to Google, to have videos that are gonna be found for people who might be considering relocating and then get a real feel for the house in the area is valuable. Yeah, it's it's actually crazy that you said that because you brought that up with uh, Alan in your last podcast about how important YouTube is as a search engine. Mm -hmm. I don't realize how much I look at it, but I really, Everything that I need, everything I got a question for, I don't even go to Google anymore. I just go to YouTube. When I was a brand new agent, I literally was watching YouTube videos, how to generate leads online, yeah. how to convert leads, because I was getting leads, I didn't know what to do with them. So I looked up a YouTube video, how to convert leads. Yeah. yeah. Well, all of the drones that I fly through houses, I actually build all of them myself. So in YouTube is what taught me from beginning to end. It's, it's like I went to college for the past four years and learned how to build drones, and then along the way, learned videography. And it's YouTube, was, YouTube is the encyclopedia of the new age. I'm gonna say, if I'd had a dollar for every time I've gotten home from work and Joe had something new to show me that he learned on YouTube, I oh, would yeah. be loaded. I wouldn't need this job. <laughs> it's, it's just endless information.